Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in part five of our tutorial series we're calling Basic Training with Adobe Premiere Elements. Premiere Elements comes bundled with a couple amazing toolkits for doing some basic adjustments to your audio and video. These adjustments can be found over to the right of the screen. And you notice if you have no clip selected on your timeline, when you click on it, it says you got to select a clip. But let's select a clip on our timeline, this one here that we're seeing in our preview window. Go over to the Adjustments button, click on that, and we can see our Adjustments panel. There are a number of tools in here, some automatic, some semi-automatic, and some manual tools. You can work at whatever level you feel comfortable with. For instance, there's Smart Fix. Smart Fix will do a quick analysis of your video and automatically it will adjust uh, brightness and contrast and it will take some of the shake out of your video too. There's also a dedicated shake reduction tool built into the adjustments panel. So if your video was shot with a handheld camcorder and you got a little more wiggle in there than you'd prefer, you can select the shake reduction option and the program will automatically analyze the video and take some of the shake out of it. There's also an auto smart tone feature. This is a semi-automatic tool for making adjustments to the levels of black and white in your video. But we're going to look at some of these other higher level tools. For instance, color. We'll toggle that open and take a look at some of the color adjustments. Many of these tools are most of the tools that you can do um, manual adjustments on. Let me just widen this out a little bit so you can see. There you go. Many of the tools that you can do manual adjustments on have an automatic option. And as you can see, there it is, auto color down there. And they uh, have as well uh, manual ways for you to make these adjustments. Now, if you prefer, and you go down here and you click on the More button, you can make your adjustments using sliders. But a more simplified method has been added, and that's these little auto preview screens. So if I want to make adjustments to the color and the hue on this particular clip, uh, so make sure the clip is selected, of course, and then click on one of these little color panels and you can see that it is making some adjustments that I don't particularly like. <laughs> and if I don't like any of these options, I can just come down a little farther here and at the bottom there is a reset button and that will remove any of those adjustments. Now in this particular clip there is one color adjustment that may uh, add some nice enhancement to it. Let's go over to Vibrance. Vibrance is going to make the colors more rich in this particular video. And once again, center is no adjustments, but as we click around here, we can try on a couple of basic adjustments. And I kind of like this amount of vibrance. We're not seeing a lot of change in the picture, but it is a little bit. Here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like with vibrance added. A little more green, a little more blue to it. So let's leave that at that. And notice that when I go to another adjustment, so I'm gonna go down here to select, for instance, lighting, you notice that when I look at my adjustments panel, I can tell where uh, adjustments have been made because there's a little green dot on whatever adjustments I've made. And here you can see brightness, contrast, and exposure. Uh, again, there are automatic buttons. And if we click on more, we get to the sliders. But I'm just going to use these little buttons, just clicking to try on variations. Let's go over to contrast, maybe bring up the contrast just a little bit. Exposure. And there we've got uh, a much brighter, um, richer picture because we've added some adjustments to it. Now there are adjustments here for doing a number of things, changing the gamma, setting up the color, making adjustments to the color. You can see if there is audio on the clip, even adjustments for changing the gain level, the bass, the treble, and the volume. A surprising number of adjustments that are available here for cleaning up your picture, for adding a really nice color grade to it for enhancing the color or for making corrections to the color or lighting that were maybe missed by your camcorder. It's a really great tool, well worth exploring, and it's another one of those tools that you can use at a very simplified level or you can dig much deeper and make some very, very precise adjustments also. In our next session, we'll take a look at effects and how to add and make adjustments to effects in your movie. That's in part six of our eight-part basic training with Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm Steve Rizzetti, see you soon.